Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Funky Steve's Medinas. So my tongue is almost fixed. I got a half decent voice now. So um, we're going to actually just go and finish up this flashpoint. So I'm going to show you what I did here between the last episode and now. Go into the bays. Um, I repaired the, the Victor and the, and the um, Mjolnir. And I got the catapult set up and going. The Jager mech and the Hunchback are going to require a lot of work. And the Centurion's just coming back. Um, we're readying it from our storage. So it's going to need a lot of work. So I refit the catapult. And what we did... I was going to try and fit two Thunderbolt 20s in it. But it just wasn't going to work. We, weren't, we didn't have enough ammo. We couldn't buy any in the store. So I kind of gave up on it. So what I did is I put one Thunderbolt 20 in with three tons of ammo. And a pair of LRMs. 15 and a 5. And this side... Um, with um, three tons of ammo as well. So we got lots of long range shooting. This guy's just going to stand back and fire. We have the Artemis system, so everything should work out okay, I think, with this guy. So that's what we're doing there. Oops, I'm just going to go back. So we're going to take this, finish up this flashpoint, hopefully. Um, we've refused paying this guy off. We could have paid out his debt or whatever it is that he owed, but, you know, after they gave us the pace thing on that last uh, mission, we have to go down and prove ourselves. So we're going to go ahead and do that. So let's take this. Let's continue. And it's a three skull mission, so shouldn't be too bad, I don't think. And I think because I had to use up a lot of cash, um, I think I'm going to go this route, two of nine, just to get some money in, in the bank. Um, we are going to need this. I think we're going to get a bit of a payout at the Well, you know what? We are going to get a bit of a payout at the end, I think. So if we go... Oh. Ambush convoy in the Martian terrain. Interesting. Let's go this route. Martian terrain, huh? All right. Uh, Hellcat and Rocky. Put Rocky in the bushwhacker, I think. Yeah. And then... Yeah, I think this is right. Let's, let's deploy this and get it done. All right, here we go. Martian terrain. It's going to work against this. So they're going to go from there. Oh, right. I know this one. Okay. Um, is it the map? I think it is. Yeah, they got to move. Where are they going? Over here, probably. That's our escape route. Oh. To there? We got a long way to go then. Standing by. Okay, we better book it over there. Understood. Moving back. So the Bushwhacker's got a half decent loadout for a close range mech. It's got a total of 20 MMLs and 3 medium lasers, which isn't too bad. In a way, I hope they're heavy vehicles because it'll take them a lot longer to get there. But in a way, I don't because uh, that means we just have to fight tougher guys. I'm receiving you. Copy that, Commander. Now we don't want to get this guy in too close. Close enough that we can get some direct fire. Ah, uh, come on, Steve. Full We're going to have a hard time with these PPCs. So is this where we're supposed to spot them? I guess so. So they must be coming from further over here. I can hear the vehicles moving over here. Ready for orders. Okay. Going full throttle. Yeah, there they are, there. Jenner, Valkyrie, Scorpion, Striker, okay. Not so heavy. I'm here. Moving out. Okay, so we got 15 turns of firing. Um, 
Jenner is generally lightly armored. Wow, 14%, eh? 16, 16, 16. You know what? We're gonna hold on to the. We're gonna hold on to our missiles. Um. All of a sudden, they can't do anything here. Escape. Done. Okay, Rhino. We want to get to direct line of sight. We're going to cut them off right in here. We got the speed. We got the firepower. We got the whatnots. I'm so glad I took the uh, AC-20 off the Victor. That Thunderbolt is so much better. They're not even moving. What are they doing? Got it. I don't know how we're going to do with the heat with this bushwhacker either. I haven't actually tested it out Receiving. since we loaded it up. So let's not get too close. Roger. So apparently the um, newest version of Rogue Tech, the, uh, I guess the modelers, the guys who were doing the modeling, I guess took um, a bunch of the models from MechWarrior Online and converted them for this uh, version. So there's tons of new mech models in this game. Who's doing some playing around with a uh, um, sort of starting over again. And uh, I spotted a real raven in the map. Looks pretty damn awesome. Okay, they got a lot of guys now. So what are we looking at here? Jenner, Wasp, Urban Mech, Hunter, Striker, a whole lot of garbage. Rommel, okay. Um, Waiting for orders. Yeah, so just expect a lot of cool stuff coming up. Which is why I want to kind of switch out from the old... the my. Rogue Tech Cold Forge series. Yeah, it's still not good enough. Um, because that doesn't have any of the new models or anything in it, right? Yes, Commander. Man, these guys are going to walk right into a, a freaking pasting here. Um, yeah, so... Kind of got an idea what I want to do with the next series. But um, not a hundred percent sure yet. Jeez, man! If Steve doesn't hurry up, he's not going to get into the battle. Someone's got some LRMs. Probably the Rommel or the Striker. Hunters. So there's a lot of new ECM and sensor stuff in this game, thermographic vision, all kinds of cool stuff. So I'm looking forward to playing around with all that stuff. It uh, certainly means using a, like, just not loading yourself down with weapons, but you've got to add a lot of other, other stuff. They've also got um, e-cooling suites up to plus seven now. So you can just not have to worry about having seven extra heat sinks in your mech. Which is going to add room for everything else that you want to use. It still adds weight, right? Plus seven heatsink kit is plus is seven tons, so it still adds the weight. It just saves the space. Come on. Okay, that urban mech's got it either an AC ten or an AC twenty, which is not a good not a good thing. So
So things like this make having like long range rack, like rotary auto cannons and things like that, totally okay. worth having. Jenner, Wasp, let's just move into here. It's not a lot of evasion. We don't really need it at this point. We're going to give this guy a good blasting though. Fire everything. That's going to be a hit. CT hit. Yeah, not bad. Waiting for orders. Okay, Rocky, time to strike. Full speed. So visuals also are, are dependent on stuff like, you know, what you have in your head. So if you've got like a slick suite or things like that, right? So this guy's almost gone. So you can't really tell at this range with this guy how much armor they have, but if you get in closer it'll tell you how much they have in total. And when you have better sensors and stuff it will begin to tell you what weapons they have and um, what their armor total is. But right now it just kind of gives you an idea of how much they got left. So I'm going to leave the medium lasers off. I'm just going to fire the MMLs on this guy. Okay, a couple of CT hits there. So it's making the game a lot more dangerous. Gives the AI a huge advantage, especially if they have a lot of mechs or vehicles with long range weapons. It um, kind of lets you know that you shouldn't be facing multiple guys at once. Like if, this, if these guys were all mediums or heavies, this would be a very dangerous mission. 135. So let's multi target this. Might be able to kill the hunter with a thunderbolt, but we'll see. Come on, hit, hit, hit. Ugh. Nice try. What are you guys doing? Oh, Jenner's running away. Do you blame him? <laughs> you're gonna, <laughs> you're gonna tease the meal in here, are you? It's kind of not a good idea. Since he's the only guy I can see, I don't know if I can put four PPCs on him though. Might overheat here. Nope. But we're gonna use uh, Warlord next turn anyway, so we're just gonna dump four in this guy. Ah, only one hit. Leg hit. You sure you want to do that, buddy? So the way the way they've done this now, they've made it so that having indirect fire weapons um, are really important, and even if you're hiding. Um, yeah, they can still hit you regardless from wherever they are on their map pretty much. So um, they don't even need to see you anymore as long as they have your own sensors they can shoot you right? So it just means that if you remember the last match that Thunderbolt 20 that was pegging us from a distance did a number on us. I wasn't even expecting that. So it means you have to pull really really far away from turrets at the beginning deal with the mechs and then move in or else you just have to suffer with, with the uh, long range damage. Like if these guys just sat there I'd have to completely close with them, right? Like this wasp doesn't even need to be here. Thank goodness my evasion doesn't get stripped. It would have been really, be, really, would be really, really bad. Okay, that urban mech's gotta go. PPC? What is that mech? I want it. Orders. Let's just get into here. And we're going to shoot this wasp. So Alpha Strike's not so bad. We're on Martian terrain. So it's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. Roger 
Man, those ATMs are close range. Tango down. Just insane. It's too bad we can't get bigger bigger launchers. I think they only come in three, five, and seven. Which is probably a good thing. Yes, Commander. Why don't you on that Irby, buddy? Everything on the Irby, please. Okay, what are they doing here? Jenner. Okay, I don't know if he shut down or not. Waiting for orders. Nope. Uh here. Alright, let's move. Because I'm gonna multi target on this guy and this guy. B is gonna take all the LRMs, I think. I want to try and CT this guy so he's out of the map, or out of the game. Yeah. Come on. Yeah, he's turned too, too much. I think it was a side shot there. Okay. Even though we have low evasion, we're behind a rock here, so most of these guys can't do a direct fire shot on us. Okay, Steve. He's just really, he's like lethargic today, man. He's moving so slow. All right, so we got the Rommel. Pretty chunky armor, I think. Um, it's a chance to hit this guy. Oh, that's pretty good. We're going to take it and fire in the Rommel. Ooh, three hits. Okay. Just want to soften him up. That Irby's going to go down. The Bushwhacker's going to hit him next turn. Okay, what are they doing here? At the urban mech? Now that guy shot a PPC before. I was sure of it. Ready for orders. Roger that. I'm gonna push these guys. Can't see him still. Where's the Rommel? Right here. It's a hunter. 580 armor, 120 on the side. Um, gonna multi target this. Uh, we're gonna put the machine guns on B. Confirmed. Okay, that guy's gone. Okay, you lost something. Okay, missiles incoming, not a big deal. Okay, uh, Hellcat can go before the Jenner, so let's get around to here. Like so. And we're going to multi-target again. Going to shoot the Irby and the Jenner. I think we're far enough in front of the Jenner. We might get a CT hit. We'll see. Wow, that guy's taking three of those now. Okay, so that Jenner's gone. At least I think it is. Nope. 
standing by. And we got a tiny bit of instability, but not much. So we're going to move into here. Mm, which are we? This is the Rommel? Okay, we're going to move into here. Copy that. Still can't see him. Just don't have the... <laughs> I don't understand why we can't see these guys yet. Anyway, we're going to dump everything into the side of the Rommel. Let's leave the small off and one of the mediums. Yeah, not bad. Okay, there's a striker. Good luck with that. Ooh. Shit. That guy's got an AC-20. Wow, we almost killed him too. Alright, Steve, you know what we need. Just fire two. Okay, there we go. Creating a lot of craters here. Here comes that Jenner. She shut down again. <laughs> Jump right into the radiation. Good move, guy. These have to be the worst escorts I've ever seen. Definitely the worst escorts I've ever seen. Oh man. Alright, we're gonna move into here. That was hilarious. Alright, let's kill this guy. Fire everything. <laughs> oh man, that was funny. Reporting vehicle destroyed. Receiving you. Okay, we're going to drop our MMLs on this guy. Got to cool down anyway. Just fire for a CT hit. Okay, there we go. Hope we can salvage that. I wanted to do that because Hellcat's got a... Uh, Affirmative. Warlord that we need to use. So that's going to save us a bit of, a bit of uh, heat here. Oh, and I can't see him. Oh well. Well, 400,000, not bad. And almost no damage. Alright, what do we get here? Bonus range on an AC-20. This can jam after firing. Yeah, there's nothing up there we want. Let's see if we got any electronics down here. XL Gyro. So we have enough of these? We don't have any of these. Let's pull one. Probably heat sinks. Um, we do have this that uh, proto heat sink. Um, light ferro. We do have the, the uh, pro. Ooh, caseless ammo. We do have the proto heat sink. Uh, double heat sink kit. So I'm, I, I think we should probably take a couple of these. We can get some use out of it now. Well, it's actually in the uh, catapult right now, but we can move it over to someone else. Yeah, let's go that route. All right, so Urban Mac part. Um, R63 double L, eh? Interesting. LRM15, two mediums, vehicle flamer, internal combustion engine, which we can sell. All right, not bad. All right, so 25,000 repairs, not bad. Okay, so let's have a look at our tasks here. Let's bring up the guys we want to bring in again. Uh, Bushwalker catapult. Let's bring the catapult up first. 
and victory. So that's just like five days of repairs. We're back to ready to go. And let's have a look. Um, I thought we had taken the flashpoint, but I guess we didn't. But we'll do that right now. Yeah, crap, gotta pass. That's fine. Okay, there we go. Not sure why we didn't get the flashpoint there. Continue. I guess I must have just um, probably didn't select it. It was whatever was at the top. Alright, now we can go down and destroy these guys. That's a little bit better. Two of nine. We do have stuff to sell. So let's go two of nine. Gonna have to give these guys a good pasting down here. Um, maximum 230 tons. Really? We got 270? Um, how can we fix that? Can't do it in time. Uh, before the financial statement. Okay, so let's do a couple things here. Store and sell. And let's sell some stuff. All right, let's sell. Um, we're not going to use this cost rifle, I don't think. Sell that. What else do we have here? Uh, I'll be 10x. I don't know if we're going to use that or not. Three LRM-15s. We definitely don't need three. Um, medium rifle, seven tons. We're not going to use that. And not going to get any money for those. Got another MML5 still. The MRM20s now. We're not probably not going to use these at all. Well, I'll hang on to them. Um, silver bullet goss is still really nice. How much do we need here? Another 130,000. A couple of SRM6s we can sell. Uh, vehicle flamer. As much as I want to keep it, we need the money more. Got claws now. Um, can't sell that, but we can sell this. Getting close. Regular heat sinks. There we go. One more. Actually, let's do that. Now we're going to need money to uh, fix this hunchback, I think. Um, so let's go through here. Come on. Okay. Ready to go over financials whenever you are. So let's do... Don't know how we're going to fix this guy, though. Um, so it's either going to be him or the Centurion. So this is 150. So we leave the Victor behind, let's say. And we go with a 70... 170 Let's have a look at this guy Yeah, so I had refit this guy So he's got the ER large, ER mediums, and a PPC So we're ready to go, actually So we're going to go with the, uh, let's do this here. Let's do this. So I'm trying to stay quiet. My uh, youngest one's trying to go to sleep here. So let's continue. Um, we're going to go with... This should be interesting. 230, full salvage. Definitely harder to keep money going in this thing. Okay, take the victor out. Let's put in this guy. 
Maximum 230. What do we have right now? 240. What? How did I get that wrong? Oh, right. Bushwhacker's too much. I thought it was 50 tons. Um... So I guess Ugh, whatever we do, we're gonna have a two hundred engine. So let's go with the Centurion. And we don't have a lot of um let's do this. Might as well put the stealth armor on. Wait, we can't because we need ECM. Which is fine. We got a 200 engine. We're going to go with indirect TTS. Going to need the XL gyro. Um, okay. We have a lower arm for that side. I don't think we do. No, we don't. Uh, we definitely need two more heat sinks. Um, we do have double heat sinks here, so we could go with. Yeah, let's go with the double heat sink kit and add the double heat sinks. And we've got four missile things here, so we're going to use. Uh, what does this give us here? Recenter range, sight range, initiative, radius of the ECM bubbles, protecting your friendly sensors, sheath beacon. Not permitted in the. Where does that to go on the head? Oh, okay. That's good for us. And then. Does that count as an ECM though? It does. Can we add a war first week though? No. Okay, so weapons now. Um, missile systems. Okay, we need to maybe we put an, a Thunderbolt 20 in. I don't think we don't we don't have any ammo, man. What is up with the store and no ammo? Um, we could go with a um, 15. That's 60 damage. Thunderbolt. We could put two Thunderbolt 10s in. That's a possibility too. They're relatively light too, right? Uh, let's make sure we grab the ammo for those first. We need AC5 ammo for those. And before we forget, let's max out the damn armor. Don't want to forget that. And then if we go with... Let's see here. We want to have ranged. Um, don't have much weight left, unfortunately. Maybe an LRM-10? Extra damage? And then we can add... How much is the MML-5? Three tons, eh? Um, how much ammo do we have here? We really only need one. 12 turns. Our heat should still be really good here. Yeah. So. One and a half tons, eh? Do we have anything for one and a half tons? Um, got one laser point. Could put a medium laser in as a backup weapon. Don't think we really need it, though. Haywire's three tons. Um, 
What if we do... Do we have an LRM5 left over? We do. That's two tons. 15 would give us eight turns of LRM fire. Is it really worth it though? I mean, I would rather have 12 turns of continuous fire with this guy. One and a half tons though, what do we put in? I guess we just throw a medium laser in. And we can't even put in half a ton of armor because... Huh. There's nothing else on equipment we can throw in, eh? Stealth armor. I really have to figure out what we're going to do with these guys. Like the Warfare Suite is probably going to go in the, the Wolverine with the lower arm melee and the claws. Maybe even the Beagle Probe. Um, half a ton, eh? No more laser points? Nope. Well, let's just run it like this, I guess. Don't need to fill up that half ton. Right. Fifteen right. days. Right. Yep, I know we got some stuff to sell. Gonna sell some stuff right now. Don't really need this AC2. We're almost completely out yep, of thank cash. you, Captain Obvious. Eesh. Um, don't want to sell that fusion core that we have. Let's sell these two LRM twenties. We're nearly broke, Commander. Our nest egg is just about gone, Commander. <laughs> Dude, you need to stop. Um, man, we're hurting. We better get some good salvage out of this. I'm gonna be really upset. Um. Man. We're almost completely out of cash. Alright, there we go. <laughs> Man, we better make money off this or we're going to be in big trouble. <laughs> Centurion's back in 15 days. Oh, man. Okay, well, let's do it. <laughs> we can always take a mission for just cash after this too, right? Okay, man, like it's like learning the game all over again. I'm hurting here. Flashpoint. <laughs> Let's do this, guys. Hope, hope for good salvage. Okay, so catapult comes out, and centurion comes in. How are we two fifty five now? Oh, right, Victor's got to come out. Hunchback's got to come in. There we go. Five tons under. Let's do this. Yeah, I know he's underweight. He's a featherweight. Command interface initiated. Ooh, cold terrain favors us. Okay, up on the hill. We've been burned on this map before. This battlefield seems a little bigger than it should. I got a feeling they're going to have reinforcements. But we're not going to play their game. Ready for orders. Full speed. No target. We're going to move back a bit and over. What's up, boss? So the hunchback's definitely at reduced uh, 
damage, that's for sure. Yes, Commander. Ten four. And I really hope this this uh, Centurion works out. Okay. Commander. Got a blip. Centurion, out of range. Okay. Not out of range for Rhino, though. I copy. Yeah, let's fire both. Engage. Come on, hit. Yeah. I'm receiving you. That's all right. One of the two hit. Order acknowledged. I don't even know if you can see us yet. Um, we've got the ammo. Let's Contact use it. Commander. Yeah. I'll do that again. Bandits. Well, nice shot. He's got an AC-10. So every turn you get a sensor roll I guess for each of your pilots, which determines how far sensor-wise you can see. So one turn you might see somebody, then the next turn you might not. Gonna play the missile game, are they? Alright, Steve, let's push these guys. Not much of a push, but we can't move very far, so... Let's just target this guy. Fire. All weapons committed. Ooh, one hit. Okay. Commander? Let's just get into here. All right. A dragon, eh? That sounds like something that guy would use. Yeah, even worse. Catapult, okay. Waiting for orders. See if we can get behind the rock over here. Wow, 5%, eh? Uh, we've got 11 turns of firing. Let's hold on to it. Until we get a little closer. Orders. And, yep. Copy that. Okay, nice. We don't know what this called Griffin. Okay. See what can, see what I mean about the sensor roll. Just don't know what he is, right? Light damage, Commander. This is certainly easier than the last one that we played. But now that I say that, it's like all of a sudden we'll have a second lance that'll jump us. See if we can do some good damage to this guy. Um, just gonna fire. Oh, Okay, I'm happy for one hit. That's good. Hit him on the missile side, it looks like. Did not move far enough. Still hitting, though. Damage minimal. Yeah, 43 isn't minimal. Okay. 
Okay, that jerk's either in the dragon or he's in the catapult, one of the two. He shmarred me, so I'm thinking he's in the, uh... Thinking he's in the, um, dragon. Is it time to warlord yet? No. Not quite. Next turn, probably. I think they are hitting better than I am. They might have a C3 so system going. Barely hit, Commander. Waiting for orders. All right. Um. 23, 18, 18, so it's this guy I guess, so let's just fire on him. Taking the shot. Oh nice, we hit him with one. Receiving you. Confirmed. Okay. We can see that torso now. We're going to dump everything into his side. Inflicted some heavy damage. Yeah, he lost his uh, LRM. Yep, standard crap bolt. Okay. Um, just gonna walk it up. They're gonna hit me anyway. I want a better chance to hit though. Let's see if we can finish this guy up. Well, twenty-six, twenty-nine. Yeah, it's this guy. Better chances to hit. Let's do it. All weapons committed. Okay, two hits. That look like two CT hits too. Oh, he's knocked down too. Yeah, he's almost done. Thank God this guy can move fast. Awesome dragon, eh? <laughs> Sorry. Damage. <laughs> awesome dragon. <laughs> He's got to be in this mech. He has to be in that mech. He's such a douche. Oh my god. <laughs> That's so bad. Waiting for orders. It reminds me of... Um, Guardians of the Guardians of the Galaxy Taser Face. Are you be afraid of Taser Face? Acknowledge. Okay, we finish up the Centurion. Or do we target Buddy here? I think we go after Buddy. Time to Warlord. Yep. I copy. The reason why I'm going after him rather than finishing the Centurion... Oh, this guy's completely... Got really low stability here. Look at his stability bar. Um, is that the... Uh, Bushwhacker can finish up the Centurion on the ground, I think. Commander. That's what your job is. Guys in pieces. 
Oh, he's not on the ground. He will be in a second, though. Like, right now. Now she can go after the catapult. Let's push these guys a little bit. Everything on this guy. Time to Warlord firing. Engaging target. Okay, he's gonna go down in a second. Here comes those missiles. Bad thing about being on this cold planet too is that these guys get uh, to fire at will too. We just have bigger guns. Like these. He should be going down, yep. <laughs> it's the awesome dragon. <laughs> Taser face and the awesome dragon. So I guess each of these guys have got names. Koseshi. Oh, he's got big death, death from above damage. And pretty good melee, too. That guy did pretty good. He did pretty good, I gotta say. Okay. I'm gonna shoot this guy now. Well, I don't know. Can't really hit him all that much. All that well? All that much. <laughs> um. Yeah, let's just dump it into this guy then. Yeah, he's still stable. That hit something good. Yes, Commander. Those are really good chances, though. We got some good targeting on this guy, though. Fire everything on this guy. Want to get started on him? Don't want to wait till he gets too close. Let's get our stability back. He's gonna hit us anyway. So let's dump everything into the side of this guy. Yeah, not as good as I thought we were gonna do, but we'll be closing on him next turn as long as we don't have too much instability. Yeah, he's coming in for melee. You better do a lot of damage, buddy. You're gonna be in trouble. Not bad. It's not good enough. Damage minimal. Full throttle. Yeah, man, never do it. Enemy mech. Critical damage detected. Hawkins missile. <laughs> yeah, we're unstable again. Great. I think I might have enough for a. Uh, might have enough for a warlord. We'll see. He's gonna melee too, is he? You're missing half your weight, buddy. I wonder what that centurion was called now. I guess there's no way to find out. Commander. All right, Rock. Just getting close on this guy. And dump everything into him.
still firing, eh? You do you, buddy. You do you. Receiving you. Okay, let's get um Let's get Kobayashi Maru here. Fire everything on him. Knock him down. Yep. Some nice juicy back damage. Standing by. Coordinates received. See if we can knock this guy down too. Nope. Reporting critical hit. All right. Um. Okay, one PPC to A, the rest to B. Engaging multiple targets. Uh, whoops. I <laughs> I meant to do that in reverse order, but sure. Whatever works. Okay, I feel better after this mission. That last one was just a nightmare. The first half of this one was, that is. He's giving himself to us. You're just giving yourself away, buddy. Why? He's like, I had enough of this. Just kill me. Just kill me. And now he's on fire. Goodbye. Smart move, buddy. This guy goes on 15. I go on 15. Let's see if we can leg him. Come on, hit that leg. Okay, there's the one hit. Left leg's destroyed. Yeah, I think he was in that dragon. Waiting for orders. Um. Location. We should try for a headshot, guys. Let's try. Oh, he bailed out. Nice. Yeah, right. Collect what's left of my lance and get out of it. I'm not getting, you're not collecting anything, buddy. It's our stuff now. You're not scraping anybody off the field. Mission successful. We're scraping this mechs off the field. 218,000, not bad. Let's hope it's not that much in repairs. Although I don't think it will be. Okay, we got no component loss. Which is a huge benefit. Oh, we don't get mech parts. Really? Really? Resolve cockpit. Defensive gyro. Gyro stability. Melee hands. Double heat sink kits are a dime a dozen now. TTS missile would be nice. I think we need the resolve cockpit right now more than anything. Sensor and sight range, initiative. Because we're missing cockpits, I think. That's one thing I think we will need. Well, this would be nice too. Let's direct mix missile accuracy, though. Okay, well, that's fine. We're just going to take these two. Okay, small laser plus. And nothing, really. Wow. 
All right, 62,000. Not bad, not bad. Could have been far worse, I think. Uh, no, he's not dead. He won't be bothering you anymore. Uh-oh. Okay, cool. So let's see what we get here. Okay. Black Knight part. That's kind of nice. But I think we have a few of these lying around, maybe? Different kinds, though. Not, I don't think we have the six. AC 20 triple plus, LRM 20 double plus, death move above leg, self damage redu reduction, defensive gyro. Ah, crap, a lot of friggin' death move above shit. Which we don't actually use. But now I guess we could. That's interesting, anyway. Well, we'll take it, pay out 900,000. That's, well, good, we can make our next financial report. Alright guys, so we're going to end the episode here for today. Uh, I'm kind of glad we made that mission, had no problems with it. Um, we got a million C bills now, which isn't too bad. We're going to make our financial report. Um, our mechs will be back, well at least these guys will be back in 10 days, which means we can probably pull off another mission before the financial report. Um, there's a few more missions here I think we can probably take, because um, we are going to need some more C bills, so probably that's what I'll do uh, next time when we come back, is we'll pull some missions off, and then we're going to head uh, to the northern part of the map. If you go to the star map right quick, we're going to start making our double jumps. We're not going to take any more of these flashpoints. Um, we're just going to start making our double jumps and we're going to start heading up to the clans. We're going to go right up along here and we'll do a few missions for Liao against um, um, House Davian and we'll go up along here, Steiner Davian, Karita Davian, Russell Hag. And then I'm not sure whether we're going to go against Clan Wolf or Clan Ghost Bear yet. Um, one or the other, but we'll make our way up this way anyway. Maybe going along over here. Um, we got Ghost Bear, we got Rassel Hag, and we got uh, um, Draconis Combine. So we could kind of load her around in here in the Draconis Combine, picking up Sea Bills and gear, and then go back in and fight Ghost Bear again. Although Clan Wolf has got nice captured territory over here and over here right now. Although the last time I checked, I think Steiner is beating them back a little bit over here. But, oh yes, one other thing I want to mention. You can see these flashpoints here. So the makers of the game, of Rogue Tech, have um, created independent flashpoints. Um, and I think there's like 38 of them or something. They wrote them and did everything themselves. So not only is there the ones that are down here um, from the main game, but there's like 38 others that you can actually take and do. So they're all over the place. Um, so this is a short mission, rogue loot cache. So you can get all different kinds of stuff, right? Um, different uh, skulled uh, missions. Uh, what's this one over here? This one's, yeah, hard, four skulls. Short mission. Um, but if you, if there's some up here, um, what you can end up doing is uh, getting like clan loot, loot caches as well too, right? So just depends on where you are. Uh, limited drop, uh, limited light drop, easy, one skull, right? Short mission. So there's lots of kind of, these things will be popping up 279 days to get there and do it. So they're going to be all over the place. If one of them gets in our pathway here, we'll probably take another one as we go up just to try some of the uh, the handwritten ones that they've got. So yeah. So we're going to leave it here. Uh, if you like the episode, drop a like. Um, if you got any suggestions for mech builds and stuff, I know we have limited gear right now, but I'm hoping to get some more ECMs, things like that. We're going to have to really figure out what our lance is going to be. Um, first thing we're going to do, though, is get a lot of sea bills, um, keep moving along, get our um, uh, Jaeger mech back up and running, and then we're going to get um, uh, a second lance going as well, just so we can be pulling off a couple missions per planet and then jumping uh, while we get our mechs repaired. So that's my goal anyway. So we'll be bringing, fixing up the uh, uh, the Wolverine, um, and then we'll have two lances up and running once the 
Jagermeer comes back. So that's my goal anyway. So if you have any comments, make them, put them in the comment section down below. And until next time, we'll see you later.